Hey guys, this is like the third time I've tried to record this video because I keep running out of time. YouTube downgraded my account so I can only do 15 minutes. Um, so I'm trying to keep this, this vision under 15 minutes. Um, so I got to just kind of plow through this. But let me just say, it, this is a really important vision. I mean, the way that he was, Jesus or whoever he is, the angel, he was really, really, really serious last night when he showed me this. And he was really intent. And my attention wanders a lot when I'm having visions. but And usually he just lets me wander off. But this time, he did not let me wander off. Like, he kept, like, getting my attention and keeping it. Like, this is important. Um, okay. It started out, um, that, um, I saw a red, I saw a red circle on the Pacific Ocean. And, um, it, my first thought was that it was a reflection on the water of something in the sky. And it was like a red circle, but I don't know for sure if that's what it was. But it, it it seemed circular, and it was red, and it was just, it was in the Pacific Ocean. It was a really lar kind of large area of the Pacific Ocean, because I was looking from the sky. And then he took me, and we were facing the north. And, um, and we were watching the meteor shower, because there was a meteor shower yesterday. And my first thought was, oh, yeah, I, I forgot about the meteor shower. I was going to go try to, you know, see it. And, um... And, uh, and I, and I was like, okay, we're looking towards the north. And I was like, is that where the meteor shower really is coming from? And I thought about it and I was like, okay, it's the Draconid meteor shower and it's coming from the constellation Draco and Draco is in the north. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it is coming from the north. So we were just kind of sitting there looking at that. And then he pointed at one of them and one of them was like going from west to east. And I was like, what? That's weird. Why would it? Isn't it supposed to be coming from north? So I thought that was kind of weird. And then he went and then he went over to the east and he showed something going straight up to the sky and then it bursted up in the sky. It like burst. And then he was showing something going crashing in the west, somewhere in the west. So I don't know if it went straight across the sky from east to west or if it went from up above in the sky down to the west but whatever it was it crashed in the west and I mean he was using his whole body to show me this thing crashing and it he was really like you know showing me like you know this thing going you know just like shooting across the sky and then crashing and I mean he was really abrasive about it showing me this thing was like violent big big crash so then he took my palm of my hand and put it up to the sky so that my palm was facing the sky. Like, and then he took his fingertips and was like, you know, boop, boop, boop on the top of my palm, like showing me something was sprinkling down from the sky. And then I saw these like needle, what seemed like needles falling from the sky like rain. And, um, but they weren't literally needles. They were more like splinters or something because they were, they were sharp, hot, and kind of elongated like needles, like skinny, but, but, and it was, it was scary because I was like, oh man, you would not want to be outside when that happened. You know what I mean? And they were falling like rain, just like rain, hot needles from the sky, splinters or whatever. And then he took his palm and was like, you know, in the palm of my hand, he was like, boom, 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 like showing like stones, like the needles, the splinters then turned into stones. And I saw, I saw these like stones falling from the sky, but they weren't like rocks that you see, like normal rocks. They were really bumpy, like bumpy and brown they seemed like they were brown and they were just they were like the size of like basketballs only they weren't all the same size they were like roundabout that size some of them were bigger some of them were smaller 
and they were just falling, falling, falling from the sky like hail, except they were like, you know, not hail. They were stones. And I, I was just, I, I was like, oh my God. And I huddled, like in my vision, I huddled down on the ground. I covered up my head. And, um, and, um, and then, and then I saw myself outside of myself. And I, I saw this, like, this dome cover me. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen, like, the dome, those buildings that are, like, dome-shaped, and, and the, the dome can, like, open up. Oh, I think there's an observatory like that, where the dome opens up and then it closes in again. It looked like that. Like, it was just, like, this dome that covered me. And then I saw um, all these other people that were covered by the, or sealed or whatever, by these domes that were, they were, like, protected from the stone. Okay. Then I saw a big one, like there were all those stones and then all of a sudden there was a big one and it looked like the other stones, only it was huge and it just went boom. And I mean, when I, oh, it was scary. When I saw that, I've never seen, I've never had that feeling before in my life, so I can't describe it. It was like fear, but I, I just don't even know. I don't, I don't even know how to describe that feeling. It was so scary because that thing looked huge I mean it was huge compared to me you know what I mean like looking up at it it was huge it probably wasn't huge like in comparison to the size of planet earth but it was friggin huge from compared to me um and then and then um after that he was just kind of like staring up in the sky like uh and I was looking at him and I'm like what is he doing because he was just kind of standing there looking up at the sky like whoa, like he was all zoned out and his hands were just down at his side and his palms were kind of facing up a little bit just like he was in shock or something and then I realized oh I think he's showing me like what people's reaction is going to be to this event and they it was basically like they were just in shock like just in literally like like um, like biological shock, like they weren't doing anything. They were just looking at the sky, like, uh, uh, and they were just completely like, I don't even know what they were so zoned out. Or he was showing me that that's how they were going to be. And then all of a sudden, he starts shoving food in his mouth like a maniac. He's just like, <laughs> like gobbling up all this food and then he looks down and he starts grabbing the food from everywhere and he's grabbing the food and he's shoving it in his mouth and he's just like grabbing it it was like the cookie monster or something I mean he was a maniac and and I'm look, I'm watching him and I'm like what and I was like oh like maybe that's what the people are gonna do like maybe that's what happens next like all of a sudden everybody runs to the grocery store and buys all the food and water and then he scoops up some water, and you know how when you scoop up water with your palm, it kind of flows right back out again. It doesn't stay in your palm. It just flows back out. He was, like, scooping up the water, but then when it would flow back out, it was sand. And he kept doing that, and I'm like, what is that? Is that sand or water? I can't figure out. I can't figure out if that's sand or water. It seems like he's scooping up water, but then it looks like sand when it's pouring out, and then it hit me. I was like the water's turning to sand and then boom it hit me I was like wormwood because in the Bible it says a star falls from heaven and they called it wormwood because it made the waters bitter and people died okay oh and I forgot I forgot right after he was shoving all the food in his mouth then he got sick and he was he like hunched over and he was like touching his stomach he was holding his stomach and hunching over, and he was like, Bleh, and then he just puked. And then he, like, dropped onto the floor, and he was, like, puking and laying down. And I was like, oh, my God, what happened? Like, did you eat too much? But I don't think that's what it was, because then he showed me the water turned to sand, and I was like, wait a second. Did the, medi did the meteor poison the food somehow? And then, okay, so then... Right after I saw that, um, he kneeled 
down next to me and he was real serious you guys I mean he would not let my attention go off he was like this is serious and you're going to pay attention because I have attention deficit disorder I think or something I don't know I could or at least with these visions it's hard to pay attention because you kind of zone out start thinking about other stuff but he was like no you were going to pay attention to this and he like kind of got into my you know in my face like his face was right now and I was like okay I'm paying attention he wasn't angry or anything. He's not like that. But he was just like, look at me. Pay attention, you know. And he kneeled down. And he was on one knee. And he was telling me to kneel down next to him. On one knee, facing him. And he kept saying, kneel down. And so in my vision, I like knelt down on one knee like he did. And I was facing him. And he was facing me. And we were both kneeled on one knee. And he put his right palm up you know, like, up, and I put my right palm up next to his, and he just was staring at me, like, staring right into my face, right into my eyes, and I was like, what? And then all of a sudden, I shot up into the sky. I mean, like, shot up into the sky, like, pew! And I was in the sky, and I was like, wait a minute. And And so, you know, obviously, I was like, okay, that seemed like the rapture but then I looked down but he wasn't up there and I looked down and he was still on the ground and I was like wait a minute what are you doing aren't you supposed to be up here but he was down on the ground I was watching him and he walked over and there was a lady and she was sick and she was laying down because she was sick and then all of a sudden I was like oh my god everybody's sick down there and um, she was laying down, and he went over, and he did the same thing to her that he did to me, and he put his palm against her palm, and then she came up to where I was. And I was still looking at him, and I'm like, how long are you going to stay down there? And I was just looking at and he looked up at me, and he pointed, and he was like, go. He's like, stop looking at me, and look where you're going. You, you're Stop looking down here. And he made that very clear. He's like pointing up there, and he was serious. And he was like, you go up there and stop looking at me and what I'm doing. Because this is my job and that's your job. Go. And I was like, okay. And so I turned around to see where I was. And I saw this huge place that looked like, I mean, the only thing I can even compare it to is like, Grand Central Station in New York City, except it was bigger than that. I mean, it was just like this big, vast, expanse, expansive room, and it had like this golden hue to it. And I'm almost out of time, but it had this golden hue to it. And I saw all these faces coming toward me, or I was going through them, I'm not sure, but they were so happy. I've never, ever in my life seen that many people that happy never never in my entire life have I seen that I mean these people were so happy they were like I just don't even know I don't even know how to describe it they were just so extremely happy and then I saw off to my left that was toward my right or it was it was like the direction that I was going but it was like toward the right and then off toward the left I saw this guy and he was like oh, really sad and really depressed and it, everything was gray everything was gray and dull and and i was like oh my gosh what and then he was like ah, just joking and then he like went off i think that's what he did and i was like oh okay and then um and then they all like and then i face toward the right and then I noticed that there was a difference between what was on the right and what was on the left and what was and that's what he was trying to show me was that he was showing me that while this is going on there's this other thing going on so on the right or in forward which was for me it was forward forward was this golden place that was this huge vast place and it seemed like it had a glow, golden hue and it was shiny and I gotta go I'm running out of time it was like shiny but then on the, to the left 
there was this dull gray place and people were dying and I got to go you guys it's a really important vision I got to go by <laughs>